next on Last Chance Kitchen. Tanya, what are you making? Something good. Something fast. Something, Something fast. good and fast. Can Tanya prove that she has the precision to return? Tanya's not even worried. Yeah, she ain't never worried. That's Oakland right there. Or will brother edge out another win? Wham, bam, 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 bam. This is Last Chance Kitchen, brought to you by Hidden Valley Ranch. I'm so excited about getting a second chance. If I go back in, there's still a long road ahead, but I'm game for that. Hey, Tanya. Hello, Chef. Welcome How are to you? Last Chance Kitchen. Ready to do this? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> it's my responsibility to show that African American female chefs can do great things. There's a lot of drama there at the judges' table, huh? I was trying not to make it so dramatic, you know. Um, I felt like your judgment was fair, and uh, that wasn't my issue. I just, you know, didn't feel like that was a place to talk yeah. about things. I got to the end, and I asked Tanya for something, and she was like, I don't know what you said, but I felt a little, like, taken back that I shouldn't ask. Tanya, can I hear your side of the story, please? I think it's the first time you've ever had a no at the judges' table, Padma. So you'll be battling for a spot in the next round. So you're going to go head to head with one chef. Eventually, the winner will earn the spot back in Top Chef. OK. Are you anxious to see who you're up against? Uh, certainly. Yeah? <laughs> All right, well, let's see who it is. All right. Oh, OK. Brother and I have bonded over him having the Creole background and my mom being from Louisiana. We relate to a lot of the same flavors. So there's definitely mutual respect. Last week, Brother took out two. So, so far, he's the champ. He's focused, determined. But you could take him out, right? I'm ready to bring it. <laughs> OK. She's got Al Soul, the soul brother. <laughs> In the culinary world, Tanya is the queen of soul. But I'm one for one, trying to keep that streak alive. Here comes the peanut gallery. <laughs> hey, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Hello. Hello, young lady. How Long are time you? No see. <laughs> Some friends that help cheer you on. All right. <laughs> So I'll tell you, you know, often when there's a team challenge, the team members, if they lose, they're always wishing they did a different part of the challenge. And I got a sense that kind of happened with you. You, uh, you seem like you wanted to do the speed challenge, and, and that seemed to be where you guys were having some friction at, huh? Yeah, in hindsight, I think that would have been a stronger place for me to have been, yeah. for sure. I can think of a really well-rounded dish I could have done in 45 minutes, and that would have been really comfortable for me. But I, you so know, you I'm, I'm it. <laughs> let me finish my story. I'm talking okay. now. You want to go fast? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to give you about 15 minutes on the clock. Nice. 15 minutes should be easy. We chef. Depends it's too what easy. it we is. We can make it 10. Let's go 10. You want to go 10? What are we making? <laughs> That's a good <laughs> You can make whatever you want in this kitchen using whatever's in the kitchen. I'm down with 10. If I can get her off of comfort, it gives me an advantage, because I know I can pull off a dish in 10 minutes. Can she cook a dish in 10 minutes? How you feeling, Mama? We're at 15. You want to go, you're, you're down to 10. What are we making? You want to go up and down. Anything? It's up to you, whatever you want. Appetizer, main no, course. No, whatever you want. A dish, a dish, okay. a dish. You got this, Tanya. It could be small. Right, you, got you got this. You're down for 10 minutes? Sure, sure, why not? Let's just get it over with. Let's yeah. get it over with. 10 minutes it is, OK. Put 10 minutes on the clock, and your time starts now. Jesus, you guys suck. <laughs> 10 minutes? Did I really agree to that? I don't know. I've never taken the easy way out. So it's time for me to walk the walk. All right, guys, let's go. Here we go, guys. Cooking a dish from scratch in 10 minutes is extremely hard. So time starts, and I'm like Forrest Gump. It's just like, run, baby, run. What cooks quick but still shows technique? Fish. Not what I wanted. I go to the fridge and I'm looking for shrimp. And I'm looking around, I'm like, oh, there's no shrimp. And I know I have no time to think it through, so there's salmon in front of me, so I just grabbed it. Well, that's quick. Yeah. I'm gonna make a rainbow trout that's been seared with a Spanish chorizo vinaigrette and a cauliflower puree. I've made a dish like this before. I actually had it on my menu. It's a dish that takes time, but I don't have time, so I've gotta knock it out. Can you salmon in 10 minutes? Pretty thick steak. It's, it's bone in, too, though. That's the other thing. I'm just like moving forward, almost like a sprint. I just want to get the fish cooked, trying to think in my head at the same time what I need to grab for the sauce. I want some other accompaniment, like an arugula salad. I'm working on the fly. 
Tanya, what are you making in 10 minutes? I don't know. 7.40 left. Something good. Something fast. Something fast. Something good and fast. Something good and fast. You got to get some salmon there? Yeah. yeah try spice, to make a black in it a little bit. All right. What else you got? Some peppers, some tomatoes, red yep. onion, chai. I got to go back and get something. Okay. But I'll get there. Tanya, I just want to let you know there is plastic wrap in the kitchen. <laughs> just want to let you hey, know that. Hey, two, it's been in the same spot the whole season. <laughs> On your station, right? In his pocket. So sour. Is he hiding the plastic wrap from you? <laughs> What's the... Brother, you have what, two, a little trout there? Hey, chef. What else are you doing with this? Uh, I'm going to make a chorizo vinaigrette, and then I'm going to push for a cauliflower puree. But we'll cauliflower see. Cauliflower puree. You have seven minutes. Picking a fish that I have to fillet, pin bone, portion, and sear is gonna take up a lot of time, and of course, my big mouth got rid of it. So, I gotta make this work. This is not my time to go. It's not my time to go because I got more work to do. I got more chefs to beat. I'm getting back on. Brother, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good, run it. You got plenty of time. Uh, tons of time. You're only halfway through, you have plenty of time. <laughs> Anya's not even worried. Yeah, she ain't never worried. That's Oakland right there. <laughs> I love a sauce like romesco with fish because it's really flavorful, but it's almost like a condiment. You don't have to take every bite with the sauce. It's actually really good on its own. That's where my onion flavor gets into the dish. I feel pretty confident. Tanya, whoa! Yeah. Two minutes left. I cut into my salmon, and I notice it's not really cooked through. So I immediately get it back in the pan. I put it on the burner. It's going to be the last 30 seconds that I'm pulling this off to put on the plate. Oops. I just got stuff in my hair. I definitely have regrets on yelling out 10 minutes. Like, stupid. Time? 126. 126, her. You make it, brother? Hell yeah. <laughs> in the last minute of cooking, my fish is going to be to temperature. I want to do a little bit more of a garnish, but everything is going so fast. Is that fish sauce? Yep. Yeah! Thanks, Woo! too. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> 30 seconds. <sighs> Plating is like, wham, bam, 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 bam. I realized the chorizo caramelized too much. So I actually pull all of my chorizo sausage and just use the oil. If he tastes one piece of burnt, I'm done. Five, Five four, three, three, two, one. one. OK, time's up. 10 minutes gone. I've got the fish seared nicely. I've got the chorizo drizzled around. Hopefully, it's enough to win. My dish seems a lot more substantial than what Brother has created, so I'm feeling pretty good. That looked like fun. <laughs> Come yeah, on. I worked up a tiny bit of a sweat. A little bit, that's good. <laughs> so right. I have a blackened uh, salmon steak with a romesco sauce and arugula salad. Why did you agree to do it in 10? I'm up for a challenge. Uh huh. What's in the spice mix? Um, chili powder, a little onion and garlic uh, powder, and um, some ground cumin. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Brother? Chef? So, what did you make in 10 minutes? Uh, I did a seared trout with a chorizo vinaigrette mm -hmm. and a cauliflower puree. 10 minutes is uh, pretty fast. Comes but... out to pretty quick, man. Yeah. Any regrets? No, I think it's, uh, it makes it more interesting. Okay. You guys actually got a lot done in a short period of time. That was fun. I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> when you do something like this, how quickly do you have to think and then put it into action? I think you just gotta start going and try to... Run to the pantry, see what catches your eye. 
How long are these normally? 30 minutes. Oh. But, but you wanted to cook fast, so you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so no, you got to be careful what you ask for. You want to go fast, mama? <laughs> The dishes were both good. I mean, brother, what I liked about your dish is you got a lot done in a, in a small amount of time. Um, I really thought you were crazy for getting that puree in there, but the puree was good. It could have been seasoned a little more, um, but the texture was really good. It was really smooth. Uh, your trout was really nicely cooked. I thought it could have used a, a, a little shot of acid, maybe a little lime juice, um, but, uh, you know, good dish in 10 minutes. Uh, Tanya, your salmon was nicely cooked. The sauce, I, I you know, I like the idea, but, um, all the flavors are there, except I got a, a real uh, preponderance of raw onion flavor on the back. I like that the arugula was dressed and, and nicely seasoned. Uh, I like both dishes, and I'm gonna give the slight edge to brother. Thank you, baby Jesus. I will never give up time again. So brother, you win this round. Thank you, chef. And Tiny, the only reason why was those onions were just not cooked. They give us a really raw flavor to that dish. Sure. And it's not supposed to be that way. And yeah. if you minced them a little smaller, maybe got that out sooner or something. But that's that's it. A slight edge goes to brother. All right. One. Thanks. Cool. Congratulations. It feels better to you know be leaving the competition in this way. No drama. One of my new concepts is a quick service restaurant. So I think I'm pretty sure that's going to work out well for me. Congratulations, brother. You're one step further. Hey, chef. See you next week. I'm a back to back champ. Two wins. All right. That was a lot of <laughs> I'm on a war path. Just put me in the winner's circle, put me in the finale now, because that's where I'm going. You're all sweaty. Uh, I'm super sweaty. <laughs>